Crazy how this just happened, wishing on a star. It's a celebration, I ain't talking Mardi Gras. With a little patience, you'll be eating Buddha Khan. What you want? What you want? Made some choices for a profit. That's my logic. I'm gonna take it to the coffin. Just being honest. Never let a man affect your stack like that. And if you're getting toxic, tell the boy fall back. If it was back then, I'd be tripping off. Today, from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, it's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. Football League presented by EA Sports. Today we've got a week six. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Flushed out right. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Of course, he was solid last week. AFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Two touchdowns in that game. Yeah, he's playing at a level right now where he's just breaking down defenses. Makes me remember when I was playing and my defensive back coach told me, listen, if you give up a touchdown pass, that's on me. I didn't coach you well enough. If you give up a second one, that's on you. And if there's a third one, I'm getting someone else in the game. <laughs> Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. to Jones the Jags picking up the first down there a gain of 12 they'll drop to throw buying time to his left Jones has it and they're going to get this down inside the 20 well this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive Charles he looks cool he looks calm he looks collected in marching them down the field and Brandon I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies but you know they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came particular to him Charles how he handles himself in meetings just so professional mature looks like he's been in the league five years yeah he cares about the game he cares about his performance and it's showing after one seven nothing on EA Sports they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw and he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown it's their quarterback with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from... <laughs> 
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Forced out to his left. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Flush to his right. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Back to throw now on first down. Out to his left. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Being chased out left. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 31-yard line. He'll find Jones again, complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Steps away to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great effort there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game as they have taken the lead. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner. throwing here to start the drive buying time to his left complete to Jones and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 he'll look to throw rolling to his left and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. He'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Kirk. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First down, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. Caught by Jones. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Dancing to his left. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. 
as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll set up to throw, being chased out left. And we'll get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. On his way to a monster game, three first-half touchdowns. And the Jaguars would extend their lead here just before halftime. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie... They'll look to throw here on first down. Steps away to his left. He completes it to Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll set up a throw. Buying time to his left. And that one drops down incomplete. Good. Ball free and it's second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw again. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, these two teams met in Indy earlier in the year with the Colts coming out on top. So if they can find a way to win here in Indianapolis, they would take the season series 2-0. This time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. They'll look to throw here, eluding the pressure right. And one more time, here's Kirk. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Looking to throw. Forced out to his left. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. Got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate that was just incomplete. He'll drop to throw. Dance into his left. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. 
Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I like what they tried to do there. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. And it's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now back to throw. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. time to his left man open here is Jones and he will be taken down but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter three quarters have come and gone you are watching the NFL on EA Sports forced out to his left got his man it's caught touchdown Jaguars Marvin Jones a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this. Back to throw here. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the move to his left. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. into his left. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. ETN up the middle. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And they'll go again with ETN. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Tackle made by Grover Stewart. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
Six yards left on second down. Straight ahead, ETN. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. He's going to keep this again. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. A oh, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. On first and 10, it's ETN. He will push his way down to about the 14. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So this will be a win for Jacksonville, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road. How about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Yeah, Most they time thumped in, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other. Didn't hold up on the road. Big margin, big victory. Oh, yeah, that flight home will be good. So for Jacksonville, it's a much-needed victory as it gets them back to 2-4 and four on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, the loss will drop them to 4-2 and two on the year. And they'll try to rebound next week.